everybody. Welcome to story time. I'll give you just a second to get settled in so we can get started. My name is Elizabeth and I am usually telling stories at the library, but we are telling stories from home right now. So I am at my house. You are probably at your house, but that is okay. We are going to do story time just like we usually do. And that means that we have to say hello to everybody. So can I see your hands? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Couple more. This is the one where when we're at the library, we cover our ears. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Great job, everybody. Thank you all for those of you who are watching. Can I see your hands again? Open and shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creepy, creepy, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, just like this. This, this, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a little kiss. Mwah! Great job, everybody. All right, well, we have to find our letter that we have today, and that letter is F. We have stories today that start with F. Let's think of some things in our heads that start with F. Let's see. We have food and friends, family, fun. Lots of really good things start with F. Today, we have stories that start with F that are folk tales, which are some of my favorite stories to tell. They are really fun to tell and usually pretty fun to listen to too. So we have folk tales for our stories today. But before we get started, we need to take our stretch. Big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Tap your knee. Where's your knee? Tap your nose. Find your ear. Where's your ear? Find your elbow. 
There it is. One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up toe. Ah. All right, we are gonna get started with our first story today, which is called Fed Just So. And this is an old German folk tale, actually. And it comes from this very tiny book that we don't read anymore because the pictures are so little. But I'm going to tell it and we have some really great props today. Well, once upon a time, there was a man who could not get any sleep. He was a tailor, which made it, meant that he made clothes. And he would work at his sewing all day. And at night when he would get into bed, he would pull the covers up to his chin and he would close his eyes. And just as he was about to drift off to sleep, he heard a noise that sounded like this. Ugh. Every night it was the same. And the poor tailor could not sleep awake. Well, he got so exhausted and fed up, he said, I have to figure out what's going on. I need to get some sleep. So he went down into the village and he went to see the wise woman who lived there. And he told her the whole story. She said, oh, yes, 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 I know what your problem is. A hudgen has come to stay with you. A hudgen, said the tailor, what is a hudgen? Oh, a hudgen is a little creature, and if they cannot find the exact perfect place to sleep, they will bother you all night long, said the woman. Oh, yeah, that sounds right, said the tailor, but what should I do? You must make the hudgen the perfect bed, said the wise woman. Okay, I can, I can do that, said the tailor. So he went home and he got to work. And you can do this part with me if you'd like. He built a bed and it went like this. Hunk-a-cha, 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 hunk-a-cha. That was him cutting the wood. And then he had to saw the wood into the right size. And then he varnished and painted the wood. Let's try it all together. Hunk-a-cha, hunk-a-cha, hunk-a-cha. And after a little while, the tailor had made a beautiful bed for the hutchin. So he set the bed right next to his own bed. And that night he was so excited. He said, oh, finally, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. He climbed into bed. He closed his eyes. And then he heard a little voice say, too high, too hard, too high, too hard, too high, too hard. Oh, the tailor was very discouraged. But he said, okay, I can make the hudgen a new bed. And the next day, he got up and he went to work again. Hunk a cha, hunk a cha, hunk a cha. Ee, 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 ee. And he made the hudgen another bed. This time it was a little basket that he filled with the softest feathers. If the Hudgen thought the first bed was too hard, well, this is nice and soft, thought the tailor. And he set it on the windowsill. And that night he was ready. Whew, he was ready to get a good night's sleep. He got into bed, he curled up, he closed his eyes, and he heard a voice say, too soft, too tickly, too soft, too tickly, too soft, too tickly. Oh. The poor tailor. Oh, he had no choice but to try again the next day. So he went to work. Hunk a cha, hunk a cha, hunk a cha. Ee, 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 ee. 
and he made the Hudgen another bed. This time, he had made a cupboard, and inside he tucked a blanket and a little bit of cotton for a pillow. <gasps> Surely the Hudgen will like this, he thought. And he put the cupboard in his bedroom, and he waited to see what would happen. He closed his eyes, and he heard, Too dark! Too stuffy! Too dark! Too stuffy! Too dark! Too stuffy! Oh, the poor tailor. He was so tired. But the next day, he went to work again. hunk a -ja, hunk a -ja, hunk a -ja. And he made the Hudgen a beautiful hammock. He put it on the porch and he gave it a little push in the breeze. He thought surely the Hudgen would love this. He went to bed that night and he, he closed his eyes. He listened and he heard too long, too loose, too long, too loose, too long, too loose. Oh. He had worked so hard on that hammock. But the next day, the tailor got up and he went to work again. Hunk a cha, hunk a cha, hunk a cha. Ee, 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 ee. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And he made the Hudgen a little cradle. He tucked a blanket inside and he set it next to his bed and he gave it a little rock so it went back and forth and back and forth and that night the tailor crawled into bed he closed his eyes he crossed his fingers he really wanted to get a good night's sleep and he heard two teeter two totter two teeter two totter two teeter two totter oh well, the tailor did not know what to do. He had tried everything. He built every bed he could think of. The next day, he was sitting at his kitchen table eating dinner, and he would crack open a walnut. He had his head in his hands. He was exhausted. But then he looked at the walnut shell, and he said, well, maybe, maybe I'm just crazy, but this almost looks like it could be the exact right size for a tiny bed. So he took some cotton and he stuffed it inside the walnut shell. And then he took a tiny leaf and placed it over the shell for a blanket. He put it on the windowsill next to his bed. He said, oh, I know this isn't going to work. The Hudgen is definitely going to find something wrong with this, but I'm so tired. I don't even know what else to try. So he climbed into bed. He closed his eyes. He waited to hear what the Hudgen would complain about. But at first he heard nothing. And then, very quietly, he heard a tiny voice say, Just so, just so, I like my bed made just so. And the tailor and the Hudgen both drifted off to sleep. The end. Well, great listening, everybody. That's one of my absolute favorite stories to tell. And I think that it's time that we move around a little bit. So you can stand up if you would like to. I'm going to stay sitting, but we are going to do the pirate song. So many of you know this one. We'll get ready. And it goes like this. When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board 
a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I shut the door on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I danced and jived on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Yay! All right, if you were standing up, let's sit back down for our next story. But first, can I see your thumbs? Last night and the night before, a lemon and a pickle came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let them in, and they threw me in the garbage bin. What? Last night and the night before, a chocolate chip came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let it in, and they threw me in the cookie tin. What? Last night and the night before, a hudgeon came knocking at my door. I didn't go down to let him in. I fell asleep with a great big grin. And I'm sure if we were at the library, many of you would be yelling at me at that moment to wake up. And I am awake because it is time for our next story, which is called Anansi and the Magic Stick. It was a fine bright day. All the animals were out working, working, working in their yards. All of them except Anansi the spider. Anansi was in his yard, but he was fast asleep. The lion and zebra and giraffe came walking by. Look at Anansi, said Zebra. He is so lazy. The paint on his house is peeling, his yard is full of trash, and he sleeps all day long. Ah! Anansi is so lazy that he could fall asleep standing up, said Giraffe. Oh, Anansi is so lazy that the other spiders put spider webs on him, said Lion. Well, they were all laughing so hard that Anansi woke up. Hey, some people are trying to sleep around here, he said. Yeah, that's the problem, you lazy bones, said the other animals. I am not lazy. I am just thinking. My body is resting so my brain can do lots of hard work, said Anansi. But the other animals just laughed at Anansi even harder. Phooey, said Anansi. I don't have to listen to this. I can find another place to sleep. I mean, think. So Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. 
Before he knew it, he was at Warthog's house. Warthog also liked to sleep a lot, and today he was fast asleep in his front yard. But even though he was sleeping, his yard was neat, his porch was swept, his garden looked beautiful. How does he do that? wondered Anansi. He doesn't do anything, but his house looks perfect. I need to figure out his trick. So Anansi watched and waited behind a bush, hoping to find out Warthog's secret. Well, after a little while, Warthog woke up. Whoa! Hey, I see a dust pile over there. I need my magic stick. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And Warthog picked up a stick and waved it and said, Hocus Pocus magic stick, fix my problems, quick, quick, quick. And before Anansi's very eyes, the magic stick swept up that whole pile of dust, leaving the floor squeaky clean. All clean, said Warthog. Time to stop, magic trick. Ab, magic stick, abracadabra. And the magic stick blah, fell to the ground. Oh, wow, said Anansi. I think I'm going to need to get that magic stick for myself. If I had that stick, my house would be super, super clean. So, after Warthog fell asleep again, Anansi grabbed the magic stick and started running as fast as he could. But he got tired after not very long, and he stopped to catch his breath. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Why am I carrying the stick when it can carry me? So he said the magic words. Hocus pocus magic stick, fix my problems, quick, quick, quick. And sure enough, the stick picked up little Anansi and floated him peacefully all the way home. And when Anansi got there, he remembered the magic words to make the stick stop. Abracadabra! Boom! The stick fell to the ground, and it dropped Anansi. Nay, next time maybe put me down a little bit more gently. Ah, all right, I think it's time to pick up the trash, said Anansi. So he said the magic words. Hocus pocus, magic stick, fix my problems, quick, quick, quick. And the stick jumped up, and it picked up all of the trash in Anansi's yard. It whirled around faster, hardly, than Anansi could see it. And it put all the garbage in Lion's yard instead. Ha ha! Yes, said Anansi. Now to make it stop. Abracadabra! Poof! And the stick fell down. Good job, stick, said Anansi. Next up is my house. It could use some new paint. So Anansi said the words, hocus pocus magic stick, fix my problems, quick, quick, quick. And the magic stick jumped up and started to paint Anansi's house a beautiful bright pink. It splashed paint everywhere, and it even threw some bright pink paint on Zebra's porch. Whoosh! Ha! So there, Zebra, said Anansi. Okay, time to stop, magic stick. Abracadabra. Poof! Ooh, the only thing that's left now, Anansi looked around, is the garden. It needs some watering, so let's go, magic stick. And he said the spell, hocus pocus magic stick, fix my problems, quick, quick, quick. The magic stick turned on the hose whoosh, and sprayed water all over Anansi's plants in the garden. Keep watering, magic stick. Don't stop until I say so. But Anansi, <sighs> Yawned. He was tired from making the magic stick do so much work. And before he knew it, he was asleep. <sighs> the magic stick watered and watered and watered. <sighs> 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 
the vegetables got bigger and bigger and bigger. And guess what? Anansi kept on sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. <sighs> he didn't wake up. The water got higher and higher. First it made a pond, then it made a stream, then a giant river, then a lake. Anansi woke to find himself floating on water. Oh no, said Anansi, the magic stick didn't stop watering. Ah! He tried to think of the magic words to make the stick stop, but he couldn't think of them. Ah, abra palabra, said Anansi. That wasn't right. Abra my grandma. No, that wasn't right. Abra spatula. Oh, nothing would stop the magic stick. He thought and thought and thought, but could not think of the magic words. Finally, help, called Anansi. Just then, Warthog floated by on a raft. I think I know what happened here, said Warthog. Abracadabra. And finally, the stick dropped and the water stopped. All of the animals liked the lake a lot. They got to play in it all day long. They looked for Anansi, but he seemed to have disappeared. Where's Anansi? All the animals wondered, but Anansi was nowhere to be found. However, we know where Anansi was. He was on the other side of the lake in his new houseboat, sleeping all day and planning new tricks which is just what Anansi does best. The end. Nice listening, everybody. That is a fun story to tell as well. All right, we are going to do another song before it's time to say goodbye today. And this time, let's go to the moon. That's such a fun one. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's do it again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! One more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, Four, three, two, one, blast off! Well, great job listening today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stories. And let's take a wave and say goodbye. Wave to the side. Wave to the other side. Wave with this hand, with both hands. Wave with both hands. Wave up high, wave down low, turn around and wave goodbye. Wave closer, wave farther away. Goodbye everybody, we will see you next time. Have a great rest of the day.